हर तरफ आवाज देना है हमारा एम टी स्टूडियोज लाइव फ्रॉम विगुल टिंग इन स्विट्जरलैंड डेयर व्यूअर्स नाउ वी हैव टू स्पेशल गेस्ट विद मी हेयर इन द स्टूडियोज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू आवर नेशनल सेक्रेटरी अमूर खारजा जाहिर भट साहेब एंड इन द सेंटर आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम अताउल हक साहेब हु इज नाजिम पब्लिसिटी Uh, for uh, the jalsa slana this year dear viewers let me tell you that uh, by the grace of allah the almighty we are about 1000 member of jamaat ahmed in switzerland here but uh, the feeling of jalsa slana and the activities of jalsa slana is uh, the same as uh, we would be attending the jalsa slana of uk or attending the jalsa salana of germany so dear viewers uh zaid bhat sahab i would like to start with you ask you some questions to let our viewers know what activities we are uh, doing here in switzerland during the uh, whole year and especially during the three days of jalsa salana assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh auzubillahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim Uh, Jazakallah for inviting us to the studio, and um, as you have introduced uh, myself as uh, National Secretary Muri Kharja, uh, Secretary for External Affairs. So there, uh, the most um, work we have to do in this department is to uh, represent the Ahmadi Muslim Jamaat um, on a national level. Um, for example, to the politicians. of the country and other um outlets of uh, um uh, uh, social life we have here or the ngos to have um to establish a contact with them to introduce uh, the amdi muslim jamaat to them and uh, the work uh, we are doing in regards of uh, uh, you know reviving the true teachings of islam uh, especially and uh, a lot of human human humanitarian work we are doing and also uh, raising a voice for our uh, brothers and sisters suffering from persecu- persecution in countries like pakistan or in algeria hazur has mentioned this several times in uh, in his uh, khutbas so we are doing um uh, this type of work here in switzerland to uh, introduce the jamaat to them one thing which uh, i think is important to tell the viewers uh, that uh, in switzerland the office of uno is also present in uh, geneva and by the grace of allah jamaat ahmadiyya switzerland is also being able to take part in some of the sub events side events i would say so could you tell me something about that because dr iftikhar yasab also comes here to geneva to participate in these kind of functions and what is the reaction of the people over there when we tell them about jamaat ahmadiyya or furthermore i would like to ask you a second part of the same question is as bisharat ani sahib in the very first speech told us that uh, the impression of the people who are non ahmadis and they see khalifatul masih for the first time uh, what their expression is because I I remember I was with 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 you in uh, UK Jalsa so please tell us something about UNO and afterwards the impression um there is uh, the European headquarters of um United Nations is located in uh, Geneva in Switzerland and uh, that's our luck that we are able to um do a little bit of work you know we have got uh, alhamdulillah the chance and the possibility to attend Sa- uh, side events at the international um human rights uh, issues which are raised um and there is a mis- uh, session uh, being held every um uh, spring uh, and uh, there we have been able to organize also some events and attend uh, other events where we have been able to raise our voice and uh, to uh, you know on a large scale to uh, to have people their focus also on the plight of ahmadi muslims 
and not only when we are attending such events we are not just raising our voice in the favor of uh, our Ahmadi brothers and sisters but for the whole humanity because they are suffering there are a um, lot of people uh, in countries like Pakistan not just Ahmadi Muslims who are suffering from persecution and we, we stand sh shoulder by shoulder and raising our voice uh, also for them that they have their basic human rights in their respective countries uh, that's what we do and um, the other thing is um, there is of course a little uh, you know the fe Jalsa feeling is quite the same but there is a different difference between uh, Jalsa Switzerland and Jalsa UK and that's the, the special thing is the presence of uh, our beloved Imam Hazrat Khalifa Masih Ayyad Allah Ta'ala bin Nasr Aziz and this has a, a huge impact on people if we um, uh, look at them how uh, his words you know enter their hearts and how they feel about that and um, I want to share one uh, thing with you and this is uh, which really moved me it was uh, in after uh, Jalsa Salana Germany Azur held his speech to the uh, guests and then um, suddenly after it was finished a, a man came up to me who was a part of the group uh, which we took to the Jalsa to attend um, and he, he said to me uh, can I have an autograph of, of, your holi uh, of His Holiness and I was a bit surprised and asked him why he wanted to have uh, an autograph because we can arrange that but he said you know this man has got some Holy Spirit speaking out of him the, the, the style he speaks the words come out of his mouth are full of wisdom and this is uh, really we see on so many occasions and this is also very uh, you know, uh, inspirational for us. So this is a small mm -hmm. glimpse. Of yes, all exactly. Those, uh, uh, comments which yeah. we get. Yes, yes. I would like to move on to you. You are Nazim publicity for this year's 35th Jalsa Salana Switzerland. Could you tell me something about your department? What uh, kind of duty you have at the moment? mentioned um, we try also an event like the Jalsa Salana Switzerland is always an also an opportunity for Tablich to spread the message about the true Islam and to reach as many people as possible so a good vehicle for that is the media and our team so we published prepared and published the press release uh, up front and this was then sent too many medias, to um, print media, to television, to radio stations, and but we also contacted journalists we already had contact with uh, before, and we used contacts. Our uh, Murabian were helping s just to get the media attention. Uh, Ishab, uh, I have seen today in the morning that uh, uh, a press was here, a television was here. Could you tell the viewers something about uh, the television who was here, who had also taken some interviews of, uh, of the Jamaat members, and how many people do we reach through that uh, television? Mm. Indeed, so Alhamdulillah, through the grace of Allah, we had this, um, this television crew here, and they took some interviews, and I think uh, we haven't seen the outcome yet, but it was in uh, today's news. And inshallah, what we tried to do also, and uh, Murabian, who were also interviewed, is to convey the message of true Islam, to convey also the message what um, our beloved Hazur, may Allah be his helper, um, passed on, especially for us, especially for uh, this year's Jilsa here in Switzerland. And I think that through this, and through all the impressions they got through the pictures they took uh, inshallah this will um, reach many viewers here in switzerland and also only for this um, television um, this broadcaster it reaches over a hundred thousand uh, viewers here in the region
the message of uh, Hazur Anwar Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Asil Aziz, a part of the message was to be loyal to your country. And as you have just uh, told that this very message was also presented to the television as well. As the, because there was only a reporter here who was recording few uh, uh, glimpses of the Jalsa Salana. What was the reaction of the reporter when, uh, when she heard that uh, our beloved Hazur Ayyadurata bin Asil Aziz has given us such a message? I think this is the beauty of Khilafat, you know, like Hazur gives us here, especially for us, this message and it touches our hearts here as we are Ahmadis. But as this message is passed on also to the journalists, it's such a beautiful message. It's such a message, you know, we have issues and discussions about Islam, but this message is right on point exactly for this situation as well, exactly for all these discussions in Switzerland. So I think this is the beauty that we have this uh, Hazur, like this Khalifa who is for the whole Jamaat, for the whole world, but here for this journalist, he, Alhamdulillah, we could pa pass on the right message. So she was also very impressed by the clear, peaceful message, by the, by the arguments she heard. So, mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. What is the program for tomorrow? Because uh, I also heard that the media is invited. And tomorrow we have a special program, Zaid Saab, for the special guest who we invite every year, who are a part of Jamaat Ahmadiyya, who are our friends. So, as a publicity, could you tell me what tomorrow we are maybe expecting in in part of uh, print media? Mm -hmm. So, with media, we have some some journalists said they will maybe they will come, but as media is very also a day-to-day -day business, they can't say if they will have time or not. But there is also one uh, a newspaper and they already confirmed that one journalist will visit uh, Jilsa tomorrow at this special program for guests and inshallah this newspaper has a reach of over 80,000 um, readers so inshallah this will also help to convey the true message Dear viewers, uh, Jazakallah once again for uh, uh, watching our uh, channel Dear let me just, uh, before we finish this interview, let me uh, once again remind you that uh, you will be able to uh, watch our Jalsa Salana live stream on www.alislam.tv. Repeat that it's www.jalsasalana.ch, ch is for Switzerland and also on www.youtube.com slash mta swiss. Dear guests, I would like to thank you very much yeah, yeah. to come here in our studios and uh, present the views of our guests and how, mashallah, active Jamaat Ahmadiyya, the peaceful message of Jamaat Ahmadiyya to the corners of the earth as uh, it was prophesied to the uh, to Hazrat Masih Maud alayhi Jazakallah very much and uh, we will uh, stay in touch, dear viewers. Please stay in touch and uh, we will also give you some more uh, interviews after a while. Zakala. Zakala very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.